you might have already subscribed to PUB's Flood Alert channel on Telegram, one in a slew of measures the National Water Agency has deployed to alleviate the effects of flooding in Singapore. But among its latest and more tangible measures to improve its flood response capabilities ahead of the northeast monsoon season is its fleet of 13 new flood response vehicles. Progressively put into service since April, these bright yellow vehicles have been modified to operate in higher flood waters. One such modification is the air intake snorkel that runs up to the roof of the vehicle. The black pipe is attached to the air intake valve beneath the hood, preventing flood water from entering the engine and stalling it. Each vehicle comes with a suite of flood protection equipment as well as a deployable LED panel on its roof, which acts as a warning sign to motorists and pedestrians. A roof-mounted pan-tilt zoom or PDZ camera will give PUB's Joint Operations Centre at the Environment Building on Scotts Road a real-time view of the ground from each response vehicle. This vehicle actually we can uh, go through the flood uh, uh, to the high up up to uh, 700 mm. You know we can go through the flood water. Our vehicle also have this PTZ camera where our ops room can control uh, the camera itself. You know to see the situation uh, on the ground. You know, uh, rather than we informing them, you know, what's happening when we are busy uh, handling the flood situation there. Inside the vehicle, so we have the portable flood uh, barrier and also the inflatable flood bag that we can distribute to the uh, resident or using the portable flood uh, barrier to, to block the uh, flood water. After receiving a heavy rain warning, a quick response team is expected to arrive at the given flood hotspot within 30 minutes of the alert. If the water levels rise, Officers will block off the affected area of the road and raise their LED signs to warn motorists of the flood. Should water levels get too high, the entire road will be closed to traffic. In residential areas, temporary flood barriers like the Dam Easy flood panel will be deployed to prevent water from entering residents' homes. When the flood subsides, the team will check on the areas surrounding drains to ensure they are free from blockage. PUB has also just concluded a successful trial of an automatic flood barrier that can be installed at buildings to improve flood protection. Owners of buildings in low-lying areas that are prone to flooding are encouraged to install these barriers. Behind the scenes, PUB has enhanced its flood surveillance and forecasting abilities as well, along with an improved integrated dashboard that gives its Joint Operations Centre a better real-time overview of flood hotspots around Singapore the agency has installed more radars to improve weather predictions. Over here, we are at our Joint Operations Centre, so uh, where our drainage operations centres lie as well. So during every heavy rain event, we will be monitoring the weather radar to see where uh, heavy rain is going to fall. We are monitoring water level sensors to see if there's any high-risk areas which are going to flood. And we are also monitoring our CCTVs to ensure that the situation on site is safe for Singaporeans. PUB is constantly improving our technology and first thing we are improving is the radar where we currently have three radars installed across Singapore and we are increasing another three to become six. So with six radars covering around Singapore, we are able to get a better prediction of a weather forecast uh, ahead of time. So on top of that, we have our CWS dashboard which integrates uh, all our data such as water level sensors, uh, our vehicle locations and the radars and CCTVs as well. So this helps us to optimise the way uh, we work operationally and helps to further enhance um, monitoring during uh, any heavy rain event. Singapore is enhancing its capabilities to tackle floods as the monsoon season looms. Authorities have rolled out new response vehicles that can drive through high water levels to warn motorists and pedestrians of potential danger. They'll also be able to access multiple sources of live data on a single platform to ensure they stay on top of flood situations. Nadia Mokta reports. A new fleet of 13 vehicles. These will be deployed to areas that are about to be hit by heavy rain and warn motorists of floods ahead. This quick response vehicle can drive through waters of up to 70 centimetres. That's about knee deep. It's also equipped with GPS trackers and cameras for live streaming. And at the back, it's fitted with equipment like portable barriers and inflatable flood bags to manage the flooded areas. 
There's also this new integrated platform which allows the authorities to monitor all flood-related data like water level sensors and CCTV footage on one dashboard. With the dashboard, what it really does is to help us to cut down any unnecessary time for us to look for information because we know that in Singapore, flash flood actually subsides about an hour, but within that one hour, every minute counts. And for us, during operation, it's crucial that we can gather all the information in one dashboard for us to actually assess the situation. And when it comes to buildings, Fortune Park Condominium in Haugang has trialled an automatic flood barrier. It has been hit by at least three floods in recent years. The first time it was about knee, knee deep, you know, and I think about six cars were submerged. Since the, this uh, drainage system improved, it's totally zero because it's contained. So with the additional installation of this flood barrier, um, I believe it should be totally zero, but it acts as a second defence. While this preschool in Bukit Timah has had to manage at least four floods in the past decade. I think the, the, the first thing is to definitely to reassure the parents that all is well within the school. Um, so what we also have in the past prepared, um, you know, at one stage we had sandbags <laughs> uh, on standby, um, but technically that also became a storage issue and all. So what I think really um, redoing our premise helped a lot. In the meantime, PUB has loaned over 500 flood protection devices and gave out over 10,000 inflatable flood bags to help residents and businesses who are regularly affected by floods.